Hello, my name is Uluwa Bankia Deusi, and today you are going to be listening to the testimony of one of my students who took the IELTS examination once only, and she aced it and achieved her desired band score across all the modules. So I'm going to ask her to speak to share with us our journey. How was it for you? Rebecca, could you please unmute and you have the floor. Okay, hello, good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can yes. you hear her, please? Okay. Let's Can you hear now? Yes. Okay. Let me know when when I can speak. Yes, please speak. You have the floor. I want you to introduce yourself to us and tell me, tell the class how it all began for you. Okay. My name is Rebecca. I um the thought of writing my IELTS started um, last year but it was just in my mind because I am a very busy person. I work Mondays to Saturdays and um, I, I come back tired and I just, I barely have time to do anything. So adding IELTS to the plan was like, <laughs> was a very difficult thing, but I knew I needed it. So I was bent on ensuring that I did it. And then the cost, I was like, I can't afford to write this more than once. And so, so I heard about um, um, IELTS with um, Banke and um, I, I just joined the general class, actually. It was just, I was just a passive member. You know, there's sometimes some lectures will be done, I'll join in and then I started trying to read. But the real journey started um, when I enrolled for a personal or a group class with uh, Banke and it was it was just for one week I guess the unfortunate thing was that I think one or two weeks I'm not sure the the unfortunate thing was that I couldn't follow through with the classes because I was actually ill that was sometime in February I was ill and the lectures were going on and I just told her that oh um, I'm not feeling fine. I'll, 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 um, I'll join in later, something like that. So she was like, "The lectures be there when you are, when you are fine. You can always go through to it." So, the, I just forgot about it. I got well and I got back to my work. Like I didn't pay for any class. Then um, afterwards, I realized that I was time was of essence. So I knew that okay, if I don't enroll for this, um, if I don't make payments for this um, exam. I'll keep shifting and postponing and postponing. So I um, I spoke to her and she told me, how ready are you? How do you feel like you're okay? Are you prepared? You should be prepared before you make payments for the exam. So I made up my mind that I was going to prepare for the exam and make payments because I was going to write it in March. So I, I put in for the exam, which I wrote in March. So what did I do? The, I, I took a leave from work. I took a one week leave from work and just decided I was going to give it my best shot. I discussed with uh, Banker that I, I had made payment. She was like, oh, good. Go back to your old lectures, which I did. I went back to the old lectures. I went through everything. There was usually a, a skill or a strategy for um, every section of the, of the IELTS exam, like listening each of the listening um different um types of listening questions whether multiple choice 
whether everything had a strategy. So I just knew that I didn't have much time to prepare, but I wanted to get the best of it. So I gave it my best shot. I went through everything. I didn't have, I had one week, like I had one week. So um, the, I did the practice. I think I had an opportunity to, to practice maybe for my listening, maybe two, uh, maybe two practice question, test questions or so or three. But I just knew that I had to stick to every technique technique I had learned in class for each of those um, sections. And we had several reviews. Uh, we had um, um, what's it called? What was it called? Essay and all of that. Everything I went through everything. And as God will have it, I wrote the um, the exam. My speaking came first. I did that. I of course I had um, I had um, some other. Um, uh, I think there was one other course that was being advertised on the group, maybe for four days or something. But the time the timing was not. It, it was going to be after my exam. So there was a way um, she made it possible for me to partake. I made payments. Everything was very stress-free. It was easy. And here I am. I wrote the test and my results came out and I was like, wow. It was amazing. I was like, I did that. Like, <laughs> it was, you know how, I, I, I think I also used, I also made use of um, your YouTube videos. There are videos that um, you've been posting and you redirect. I don't even know if people take note of that on the general class. But each time you make a post about one thing or the other, in as much as it has to do with IELTS, I go straight ahead and I uh, make use of the video. I watch it and I learn one or two things. So that's basically my journey. And I'm grateful to God. And of course, I'm thankful to you, Banke. Thank you very much. Oh, thank God so much. To God be all the glory. You see, I always say that the fact that I wrote it a couple of times doesn't mean every other person out there should also write it for a couple of times. I believe, I strongly believed that it is possible to ace the IELTS test once and for all. So I'll be asking you um, a couple of questions and if there's anyone in the class who has questions for her, she will oblige us, please, let's send in your questions okay tony has a question go ahead and unmute yourself and ask your question tony unmute yourself and ask your question okay that's Hans. All right. So now let's get back to let's get back to Becky. So how did you hear about the IELTS online classes with Banke and what made you decide to join the free classes? Um okay. Fun. I heard um about the class from my sister's friend. Okay, how did this happen? <laughs> it's, it's long somehow. My sister, my younger sister has a friend. The friend has written IELTS before. So she wrote again or something. I, I really don't know the story, but I know that there was a story that she had written before. So she now said that she wanted to write again. And then she heard about this um, class, this free class that we should just join. Do you understand? In my mind, I was like, how can, like, what would you gain from a free class, really? Like, you wrote, you, she said she paid for lectures, everything, and yet she failed. So I'm like, why are you introducing me to a free class? But of course, I didn't have any other. I've been hearing about other people. It's been, some are so expensive, and I'm like, this thing is, I, I can't afford this for now. So when I heard about the free class, okay, fine, let me just join and see what it is about. Then I joined the free class. I realized that you um, put in um, a lot of time and energy into giving lectures. And there was no time where the lectures were not um, 
um, uh, necessary or useful. You get there are times when um, you say, okay, this you are going to give how to answer some kind of questions, and then we we'll join in and we we'll realize that we have one or two things to learn. So there was never a time that was a waste of time. Of course, I didn't know that I was actually gaining anything until I um, wrote the exams and I realized that um, the, it would have been silly of me to be meeting those kind of questions for the first time in the exam. There was nothing that came as a shock to me in the exam. Everything I saw there, I had practiced. Everything I saw, I, I, um, I saw there, I practiced. So everything, it was like a walkover really. So I feel like if I can count the number of questions I missed, perhaps um, Rebecca, we can't hear you. I listen missions um, for, but I can I, I could I could count to say okay this I could predict my. Oh, you can't hear me. Yes, we lost you from the point can where you, you said. Yes, we can hear you now. We, from the point where you said okay. there was no question type that it was a shock to you. So from that point. Mm, yes, I every question type I had practiced before. So it wasn't like I was meeting anything new. So basically, I heard about um, IELTS with Banker from my sister's friend. Great. I don't know if she has passed it now, I don't, but she just told me, oh, um, I'm going to um, give your number to somebody else. So there's a link. Join the link and join the class. So there's a question and here. Someone I just asked, um, forge the head and here I am. Great, great, awesome, awesome. Someone is asking okay. that how did you practice <laughs> reading test before going for the real test? Again, recall that I shared with you all that for the reading test, I scored a band nine. And to score a band nine in reading, that means you must have called, your raw score is 40 over 40. Okay. So someone wants to know, how did you practice, practice reading test? Normally in the class. Okay. Um, usually in the, for every um, reading test, it was usually timed. There are times from the very beginning when you give us a strategy for a type, for a question type, you'd say, um, attempt this question in 40 minutes. You start with, um, I think you started with 45 minutes yes. and then, or 50 minutes and then yes. you, you brought it say, down. do 40 minutes, ensure that you're working in the, with the exam condition. So yes. I work with my timer. I use my mm -hmm. timer on my phone do you get so yes. what happens is when i'm practicing if i get to um once i get to 40 minutes i put a mark on where i i stopped at 40 minutes and i continue to the end so i have an idea that i i'm wasting too much time i don't know if you get it so yes. there are there are um um one three passages for the reading um test right so yeah. i ensure that i spend the i spend the least time on the first passage. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody is saying I can't hear you. Oh, can you hear me? Can you hear us? Now? Can you hear? Can you hear her now? Hello. Oh, I can hear you. Oh. Uh, it, it's probably. Can I go on? It, it, yes, please go on. It's probably has to do with her own connecting to the audio but i think every oh, other okay. person here can i can hear you i can hear you so go on okay so i allocated times to um i allocated time 
to every of the um, reading um, passage to ensure that I meet up with the time. At one time, I'm practicing at, a, at, at the full length for 40 minutes. There were times when I practiced with 30 minutes just to ensure that I got accustomed to the exam uh, practice conditions. or exam test condition. So that was why I was real with myself. If I'm not meeting up to time, I know I'm not meeting up to time and I just needed to practice and practice. So I did as much as I could. It could be very stressful. So what, what, one strategy that worked for me was first thing in the morning when I wake up, I work on my reading test. My eyes are clear at that time. Late at night for me, it was difficult because I'm already feeling sleepy and I'm already tired. So I, it's easier to do my listening at that time. So I just um, arranged it according to the time of the day when I'm most active. I needed all the concentration for reading and listening. But it was easier for me to do listening at night because I was listening, of course, I'll be awake. But reading, uh, then I, 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 I prepared my mind in such a way that I don't drift when I'm reading. Normally, when I started with my reading test, I'll read the passage to a particular uh, limit and I've drifted off. I'm thinking of something else or I'm distracted. So I practiced as if I was in the exam hall. Like I shut off distractions, put on my timer and I'm working like, I remember a night to the exam, I did my reading. I mean, a day to the exam now, I did one reading test and I scored, um, I think I scored 36 or something. A part of me just knew that, well, I was hoping I would be, at that point, I'd be scoring 40 over 40 or something. Still, I didn't, I didn't give up. I knew that I was basically working on my timing because I wasn't going to see the same test, the same practice question in the exam hall. Mm. So I was particular about my timing and I tried to get it right. So when I saw that I, five minutes or 30 or 35 minutes and I was able to get that score. So I just moved on. Mm -hmm. I knew that, okay, yes, I think I have, I, I, then I, 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 I think one of the things is it's important to write the test at the, at the time when you are scoring the highest, not um, yes. reading, then writing the test in a month's time or in mm -hmm. two months time, something like that. At mm -hmm. the point where you are feeling yourself and you are getting those high scores, just write at that time. Yeah. So that's great. Great. So I was going to ask, what made you decide to sign up for the VIP class, considering the fact okay. that we have never met before? I don't know you from Adam. <laughs> the first time I ever had an encounter with you virtually was through the, during the free classes. So what do you have to say to that? What gave me the confidence to join the VIP class? And why did you join the VIP class? Okay. Um, going by the free classes, I could see that you were given like you were being paid. It was free, right? You didn't owe anybody anything and you were doing it like you carried the matter on your head in quotes. Like you were giving you were giving it your I, best. I, I had to. So, I had to because you know <laughs> I kept saying from the point where you registered, there was there was this um form you had to fill that. After yes, submitting, yes. it gives you the link to assess mm -hmm. the main class. And yes, I go yes. through that uh, form to see your responses, mm -hmm. where I can help and mm -hmm. prefer those yes. solutions. I carry the matter for my head though, because uh, <laughs> if you have been there five times, you know that uh, you don't want your mm -hmm. worst enemy to suffer Duva. that pain, mm -hmm. that agony. So go ahead. So it was easy for me. Of course, I, I've never met you, funniest thing. I've never met you. In fact, I didn't even know you like facially until during one of the Zoom classes. Um, I think during the VIP, one of the VIP classes or something. I didn't know you. I've never met you. I don't even know how I just committed my money and I just, I don't even know really. But I just felt, okay, um, the free class, if the free class can be this detailed, it would be good I have a one-on-one -on -one with this person. Considering I have a busy schedule and i can ask questions personally it's easier because you know of course when you pay for something it's easier for you to say oh i don't understand this teach me this even though you encourage us to ask questions in the free class but it was easier to since i committed money and and then one of the things for me doing the vip was when i i paid for it so i knew that i had to commit to it mm -hmm. when you get something free sometimes you don't appreciate it mm -hmm. so for the fact that I paid and it was for a time frame, I wasn't going to waste that money. Mm -hmm. 
and I was going, I wasn't going to waste my time. So I knew that okay, I have to do this within this period. So each time I was giving a feedback, oh, I'm not feeling fine. I wasn't in class today. You know, it's not like um, um, I was going to be flogged if I didn't do that. But I just felt like I needed to be committed, since especially I paid for it, and I if I wanted if I want if I wanted it to yield any results at all, it would it would have um, a it will, it will have it will play largely on my own part mm -hmm. because I, I can see that you have done your own part. Mm -hmm. Great, great. So you see, people, even with the free classes, I I don't want to. I'm thankful that you heard this from someone else other than me because I can't be blowing my own trumpet. Mm -hmm. The free classes. With the free classes, I can tell you every Friday, I have people sending in their results, even with the free classes. Wow. They send in their results, they excel across all the bands, across all the modules, right? They, they do excellently well, even with the free classes. But then some people would like, like Rebecca has, as she signed up for the VIP class, because when you don't commit some kind of, when you don't show certain commitments in a way, you may not really be paying attention. You may just take it for granted because it's free. So whether you join the VIP class or you use the free class, the, your part, the emphasis here is that you must fulfill your part. And I'm glad that Becky fulfilled her part. Any other question? Any other question? Does anyone have any other question? Okay, so let me ask my one, one more question. I'll take one from the class and I ask one and then we will call it a day. So what do you advise fellow first time test takers what should their part be what role should they play apart from paying a tutor or not or using the free classes what should your part be if you are taking the IELTS examination whether for the first time or you've taken it a couple of times and you want to take it the final time what should be your part what parts did you play how did you take how, how did you, what, what did you do on your part to ensure that your commitment matches up with that of your teacher so that you can get your results? Okay. Um, well, the, um, the most work lies with you because the truth is um, you give strategies. It's now your job as, or my job as a student to apply those tra strategies by taking practice questions. So my job or my own part will be that I should ensure that I take out time to actually study, not just study like in my mind, but mm -hmm. in reality, actually study because the bulk of the work lies with the student. You're going to do your part as um, the teacher but of course, the only way um, communication is effective is when I understand you and I get the message. So it is not just you dishing it out. So when you do your part, if, for, for the student, I would say, if there's anything you don't understand, it's important to ask, really. Don't say, because everybody got it. You're probably shy to um, say, I don't understand. So if there's anything I don't understand, really, I just say, ah, I'm not getting this thing. And then I, I had my companion was um, the, my, my phone. I was always going online to check for meaning of words. I was so sensitive. Any word I see, because I knew that I was going to do speaking, I was going to do writing, I was going to do reading. Do you understand? So I knew that I, there, there's, there's, there's little that my teacher can teach me. You can't, you can't begin to sit down and teach us new words or... Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, pronunciation know, of you. every word you know it's it's a whole lot really yes. and it's all encompassing 
-hmm. for me to to have done um, listening effectively, one of the things I did personally on my own, I went online and I listened to the pronunciation of every alphabet. Mm. Do you understand? Every alphabet, yes. like I listened to it, like the way it's pronounced. I wanted to know why I was missing, especially that question that has to do with, maybe you, you, um, that has to do with getting um, details. The first, the first um, passage, getting details, maybe you're registering in the hotel or something, getting mm -hmm. details. So yes. the, when that's, they spell that's in the, section one. Section one, yes. yes. When they spell the, the street or the, or something, when they spell it and you, you, you they now they now perhaps pronounce an alphabet. If you're not familiar with it, you're struggling. Did I hear R or did I hear L? Or you know, you needed it, 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 it's it's of course it wasn't going to just jump on you, especially for the fact that I don't have any international exposure. Mm. I'm just it's just what I have that I is this is my reality. So I faced it. So for any student, I would just advise that take note of your your loopholes like your your weaknesses and work on it great i one of my weaknesses one of my weaknesses was reading i didn't i didn't imagine i was going to get a good um band score for my reading because when i see the passages i'm already i'm already annoyed they'll be so they a lot of paragraphs yes words it doesn't even make any sense mm -hmm. i'm like and then i attended just one lecture during the vip class and there was one um part where you mentioned where you taught how to um get the topic sentence the supporting sentences it was i was like are you kidding me like i really don't have to read all the passage so it was like it was enlightening and i was like wow after that uh, class I went, I tried another passage and I got those questions right. I was like, wow. So I, I knew that my weakness was reading and I, I ensured that I studied to get the best of it. Then listening, I knew where I had my, um, my, my weaknesses. It was for some pronunciation of the alphabet. I'm not hearing properly. I'm not sure what I'm hearing. So I needed to check and be sure that, okay, when they are saying, L, they are saying L. When they are saying M, it, they are saying, okay, W, okay. I paid attention to all that and it worked for me in the exam hall. Another thing that um, made it important for me to register for the VIP class was because I was going to get my um, essay accessed and I wasn't going to get that from the free class. And for me, the essay was one headache. In fact, I was thinking I was going to get like five <laughs> because I just wrote, Sha. I wrote, but I, I, what, what I ensured I did there was that every technique from the opening, the body, the conclusion, the closing, I ensured that I got them right. So the idea in the, in the letter or the essay, I left it for the examiner to decide whether I did it well or not. <laughs> because, of course, I, if you ask me, I can't remember what I wrote, but I, shall, I did, I ensured that I did um, justice to, so those little places where I can get my marks, like, okay, I'm doing the right opening, I'm doing the right closing, that kind of thing. So I did the same thing for the essay. I ensured yeah. that I paragraphed well. Mm -hmm. So I just did, the things I could influence, I tried to influence. Then I was not going to joke with the questions or the some the, the 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 ones that I can predict listening reading. I wasn't going to give give any chances. So I was I, I knew I, I needed to have a good um, overall band score. So I was particular about it. So I just said, okay, listening. I want to get 40-40. I didn't get I didn't get everything. Do you get but? I just, I, at least I tried at, to the best of my ability. Somebody I, is asking your component so, scores. Yes. So your component scores. Okay. In all the modules. Okay. Um, listening, I had um, 8.5. Reading, I had 8.0. Writing, I had 7.0. And speaking, I had 7.5. So yes. I had an overall 8. Great. Then somebody is asking that... What was that question? How did you handle map map questions in the listening module? You know the funniest thing. <laughs> you know the funniest thing. I feel yeah. like the map question was what made me 
not to get a band nine for my listening. Because I, I never liked the whole map thing, but I practiced it once. I think I practiced it just, yeah. Yes, I think I, I practiced it once. I did that. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't think I had any particular strategy. The only thing I did was to ensure that I listened properly, followed the instruction. If you're saying go up um, down to the left, I'm turning my direction that way to ensure that I'm picking the right um, 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 option. So that's basically what I did. So I, I don't know um, what I scored in it, but that was my, I didn't, there was nothing in particular. If I, when I left the exam hall and I saw, when I entered the, the exam hall, I saw the map, I said, oh God, I must get this thing. I don't know how, but I must get it. So I counted the questions in the map. I saw, okay, there are four questions, say God. So it means that whatever I'm going to do, if, I, if there's anything I'm going to miss in this map, the other ones, I must get everything. Don't mind me. I I just I I I just I went in with some kind of funny strategies and funny enough, it worked. It worked for me. So for the map, I you need to listen to the to the person speaking. They are giving directions. They are giving instructions. It's just like somebody giving you instructions, like help me go and pick something in my room. My room is at the top left left part of the building. Um, you go straight further down slide like i don't know if you get so I, I just imagined it that okay for every instruction being given i moved if they say if you say go down to the i i followed like that like that to pick my options that was basically what i did great great okay so we have a couple of minutes to round up and that will be it for the for the testimony time all right mm -hmm. any other question just one last question one last question one last question so one okay. final I word have a, i have a question okay uh please uh what do you advise uh people that have gotten ielts and then the your score is not able to get them to the point of getting the uh, uh, invitation because uh, I and my wife, we are, uh, we've been sitting at uh, 440, you know, for some time now. And I don't know, oh. how can we eventually get the Canada uh, Express Entry invitation? Okay. I think that's beyond the scope of this, um, but I'll just say what I know anyways. Can I go ahead, Banke? Yes, please. Okay. Um, when I calculated my score as well, my husband's and mine, it's pushed up to, uh, I think, um, four, what was that, 460 something, right? 466. Yeah, 466. Now, the thing is this, every little, every time you spend, once your age increases, it reduces your score. So one other advantage I, I know people, um, use is to add French. When you add French, it's going to shoot up your score because I think French is about 50 points. But I tried using, um, I tried simulating my scores using just French. It wasn't enough. So you need to get the IELTS. Once you have scaled through for the IELTS, then you can move ahead to get French or perhaps try another entry route apart from express entry. Yes, that's, so that's, that's correct. That's correct. So final final word from the test takers and then we'll be wrapping up in a couple of seconds. Final word from you, Rebecca. Just give your okay. final word. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's possible. You can do it once and mm -hmm. you don't have to waste money. Yes. It's, um, it's possible really. Mm -hmm. And um, don't be scared. Fear, fear is not going to help. Mm. For the speaking, be at your best, well composed, mm. smile as much as you can, flow with the examiner, gist with the examiner, but ensure that you're, you're at your best, really. Then for the reason, for the listening, if you miss a question, don't try struggling to get back that question, move on, because mm. the tape will be played only once. So give it your best and um, pray to God. I yeah. wish you the best. I wish you all the best. 
<laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much thank for you. taking time off your busy you. schedule you. to speak with us. Thank so you, Ma. That's I'm it. glad. I'm happy. Thank you. Thank you thank so you. much. <laughs> so the meeting will end now, and I'll see you all back in class. If you have any questions, you can post them in class, all right, in the WhatsApp classes. See you all later. Bye.